Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. We're here on a useless abandoned planet. And since the last game, or the last recording, I've had nearly a dozen beers. So it should be interesting how I decide to flaunt my captain status. We'll start by just hauling ass around the solar system. Possibly even the galaxy. Let's move on out. This is Captain Kirk. He'll get us up there and you'll go where I want you to go. And if you don't, screw it. You'll be jettisoned. Alright. Iodia. That's the next planet on the list. Hey, another Class M planet. Neat. Let's see if Mr. Spock's got some snarky comments to say about this one. Considering how often he's right, I hate to hold it against him. But I really do wish he'd wait until before we beam down to give his opinions. And the planet. Yoink! That's a planet. Standard orbit. Alright, Spock. Got anything smart to say other than that the Romulans are monitoring us? Yeah, okay. Great. Guess we won't know till we head on down. Head on down out of there. Alright, Spock, what's the deal? Ho, 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 ho. A new conversation. If there is such a clue, let's hope we find it. Yeah, you play that keyboard and throttle your jet engine. Zoom, zoom, zoom! We, we, get our asses down there. Hey, hey, hey! Ruinous ruins, and by ruins I mean awesomes. Spock, you got anything to say about this? Hey, high radiation levels, kick ass. I love high radiation levels. That means we're somewhere that has made technology. Let's see if we can find some parts we can use. Alright, we got ourselves a computer access card. I imagine we can probably head down through that open tomb of an entrance. Alright, Spock. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to follow me, absorb any hits from enemy fire, and let me know as soon as I spot a clue. Okay, Brick. Good man. Wow, we're in a library. I think I think I am probably going to need a specialist. But first things first. Let's test it. If we had an access card, perhaps we could find out what happened to the planet's inhabitants. I am sure that has nothing to do with the card that we found right outside. Word sentences. Right outside. Oh wait, no, that was the hotel pass card. We need the lib card. The lib, of course, standing for Libs Incorporated, the writers and um, performers of Funky Town. Or maybe just the performers of Funky Town. I'm not a musical expert. Damn it, Jim. Okay, we're going to have to head back up to the ship and grab ourselves an expert. 
I guessed as such. But at least this time, we expected it. So let's head back down with someone who can help us. Spot can certainly help us. But who else? Who indeed? Some sort of expert? History. History indeed. You know, on account of all the boring books and whatnot. That's the popular... Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Personally, I love reading. I have a library card. And I know how to use everything that's uh, at the library as far as computers go. However, Star Trek was made back before there were computers at a library. And I'll tell you one damn thing right now. Having only a computerized card catalog is a huge mistake. Because if the power goes out or the internet goes down, the card catalog is completely hosed, and that's messed up. Right there, buddy. Back in my day, we had actual cards in the card catalog. Sure, it was slightly inefficient and took up a lot of room, but hell, you could always find it. Several people could use it at once. It, w it just made sense. It was a foolproof way of accessing information. Okay, Mr. Guy, dude. What do we got here? Develop a dimensional gate. It took our history guy to find the communicator that was left here. Oh, okay, he's reading about a communicator that was left here. So apparently we've completely flubbed the Prime Directive in the past. And we've shot ourselves in the foot. <laughs> oh, of course. What was I thinking? I can't believe I called that. can't freaking believe it. But that's okay. Because we are damn professionals. Kirk to Enterprise. Three to beam up. Work that ass, Spock. There really should have been an apostrophe in Spock's. Fortunately, we don't have a grammar police here in the future. Five minutes. Don't disappoint me, Scott. You know the price. You'll get the awful waffle, should you fail. That plus possible incineration or perhaps spaghettification, depending. Spaghettification is a real word. That's what they assume happens if you travel through a black hole. But we are not traveling through a black hole. We are slingshotting around the gravitational field of a sun. Which should really throw us somewhere awesome. We have arrived! Yeah, yeah. Where are we at now? Someplace fun, no doubt. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we're heading on down now then. Fair enough. Do you understand our objective? Because I sure don't. I mean, I do. I'm just checking to see if you also understand our objective. this has some bearing in the actual Star Trek original series. Damn, I wish I'd have paid more attention to that. I swear I watched as much of it as I could when I was a kid. It was a bit before my time, but hell, I still enjoyed it. I mean, I picked up all the basic, um, gists and themes. Okay. Well, we're heading back here. We have to stop Dr. McCoy from doing something that alters the future. And also, we can't shoot him. Or we will have ourselves a merry little time paradox. we don't touch anything, I guess we're fine. Try cord that door. It's a 2-6 textured colonist door. And I say this because I worked at a door factory. Me. In real life. Oh yeah, we can use some items we found to pick it. We can use our phaser. Did that pick the door? Set your phasers to blast stuff. Okay. No such luck. Alright, alright, alright. Set your phasers back to stun. We could probably just punch those dudes in the face and make the world a better place. But no. Are we gonna have to do this the legitimate question mark way? That's an interesting hat you have there, sir. This is obviously the local Earth Police Bobby station. Hey, a guy with a tummy gun. I can tell it's a tummy gun because of the pinstripe suit and the hat. A Thompson submachine gun. Which, currently, in America, sells for several thousands of dollars. If you can find it. Spock, damn it man, I don't need to know exactly how long in centimeters the stick is. I need to know how long that is in inches. Let's see. Doesn't look like I can get through there. It was worth a shot. Alright, I got a stick. I guess I'll probably find some sort of wire and some sort of bubble gum and from there we can pick the door. Holy crap, it's Elvis with his dick hanging out his pants. Um, yep. Hey Kirk, Oxmix has been asking about you. Here's a number where you can reach him at. How dare you end your sentence with a preposition! Alright, dick handling Elvis, what have you got to say? Would you like me to revive him? Eh, sure. Why 
I'm Bobo's men. I got the phony plates for Sharky's counterfeit operation. If you've got the rocks, I'll trade them to you. Okay, apparently we need to get the rocks. Psst, that means money. And this guy is probably gonna stop us. Yeah, let's just move on back. Though I do suppose we can stun him. Or not. Maybe the game specifically thought that I would be the kind of jerk ass that would shoot a guy with my phaser, since I have a phaser, and slightly offset his sprite. Wow, there's a lot of these dudes, aren't there? What's your story, Skippy? Anything? This ox mix guy. I can see he's going to turn into a problem. Alrighty. And da, 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 da. let's move around just a bit more. Maybe find one more interesting thing before we call it a day. But what? Let's see, what items have we picked up here? A stick. Oh, a number. I bet we can uh, use that in a phone somewhere. Hey, here's a phone. Let's scan it and make sure it's a phone. What do you say, science team? Um, forget the coin, just use the number. This can't be used here. Okay. We have a stick. Let me go ahead and predict that we will need to use the stick with some bubble gum to get a coin to use in the phone. What is strong for its small size? Is that what I think it is? That's a bone. Okay, I got not an idea. Yeah, I'll help your dog. Yeah, you try right now, mister. just saved a dog. Hey, a gumball. God, I'm good. And what have we here? It looks like a bobby pin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I am a master of time travel. I am the greatest. Now, I just have to find some way... Stop those hoodlums! They stole my money! Ah. Mm, sorry, buddy. No dice. like I'm gonna need my security dude to finish that one off. Well, we've got a couple of options here. We've got stop those dudes. I'll bet they'll be back too. Boom! Hell yeah. Well, I guess we went ahead and figured that out now. There's a diamond. Oh, oh, oh. And what about this fellow? What does he have? A lot of cash? Well... Take this deck of marked cards... On 
nice. Well, I bet we can use this diamond to buy whatever it was that that fellow in that place down there wanted to sell us. Everything's turning up Ross now. Eh, but that's about enough time for this one. We'll continue on when we get back. Until then, this is your old pal James T. Rosser. Take a drink.